process theology and politics, the quest for the more perfect union and the SCOTUS decision about the EPA. The aim of the universe, Whitehead believes, is toward the production of beauty. The universe is not neutral. It aims toward complexity. It aims toward variety. It aims toward diversity. It aims toward contrasts that create beauty of experience. This quest is always incomplete. It's always leading us toward far horizons. And yet it's a quest we must take. The American quest, the quest of our founding parents was toward a more perfect union. Built into that statement is the recognition that we have a goal toward wholeness, but we have a long way to go. There is incompleteness and far horizons call to us. Ideals call to us. The moral and spiritual arcs of history run through us. They run through us taking us from self-interest to concern for others, to concern for the community, concern for the nation, and then concern for the planet. Process theology sees the political realm at best as forward moving, as taking us beyond the past toward new horizons of futurity. We must recognize what has been and we must look toward a more perfect union. Process theology recognizes the moral and political bankruptcy of originalism just as it recognizes the moral and spiritual bankruptcy of fundamentalism. Originalism looks backward. It assumes some sort of perfection in the 18th century. And yet fixating on the 18th century, we forget that we are in the 21st century and that new times call for growth. The way is challenging and we must be find ways to join the ideal with the concrete, we must compromise sometimes to achieve the best for that impasse, whether it be in the environment or women's rights, in gun control, in responsible gun ownerships. Compromises are necessary, but still we must aspire for more, for that more perfect union. And that more perfect union involves expanding the circles and life and, and justice beyond ourselves toward others. It is in this light that the recent Supreme Court decision done today, the 30th of June, limiting the ability of the Environmental Protection Agency to provide rules for power plants, limiting its power in relationship to power, that is energy production, is dangerous. It's dangerous because it's backward looking. It's dangerous because it ponders a type of limitation on government that may have worked in the 18th century, but doesn't work in the 21st. Supreme Court decisions can't just be about states. They can't just be about individuals. They have to be about planets. They have to be about this beautiful planet and future generations. The quest for originalism, for some sort of limitation of power no longer works on many issues today. In limiting the role of the EPA in setting standards for power plants, they are putting the planet in jeopardy. It's clear that climate is changing. There are droughts and fires, hurricanes, weather patterns changing. The Supreme Court is no longer living in the 18th century. It has to make its decisions in the 21st. Process theology says the quest for the more perfect union even involves our interpretations of laws. And we must need to go beyond our individualistic approach to law to have responsibility to the greater good as well as honor individual creativity. We need to quest for a more perfect union. We need to align ourselves with the moral and spiritual arc of the universe. We need, whether in the legislature, in the executive or the courts, be agents of beauty making for ourselves in our time and for future generations. We must look beyond our present benefits, 
look beyond our present rights, look beyond archaic ways of interpreting the Constitution to seek that more, most better, more perfect union. That's the heart of process theology and politics.